Hi everyone, welcome to, well actually, your Geek Girl Guide to the Galaxy presented by the Mary Sue. I'm your host Princess Weeks. And I'm her sidekick Rachel Leishman. And thank you for joining us after this very long break. I know we had everyone enjoying 4th of July, but now we're back to talk about all the things that made us happy and stressed us out over this holiday. And one of the things that I know you were upset about, Rachel, was like the discourse around Stranger Things. Yeah, so a lot of people were, I guess, commentary, commentating and mad about Hopper and how he reacted in season three of Stranger Things saying it was kind of out of character. And well, actually, it isn't out of character. That's exactly how Hopper's always been. He's first to yell and then he apologizes for things. And that's kind of why we like him because he's not perfect. He's not a white dude character that is like, I'm a good hero. He is a mess of a human. And I think a lot of people just kind of forgot because it's been a while since Stranger Things has been on. But Hopper's kind of always been that way, and if you don't like him in this, then like you never really liked him. Friends is being taken off Netflix, and someone wrote a piece about Ross being the unsung intellectual of Friends, and it's like, well, actually, Ross is a terrible person, he's a douchebag, and he only uses his intelligence to dump on people, not actually to improve the conversation. So maybe if he was smart and nice, or like Frasier, just around other smart, smarmy people, we would like him, but we don't and Rachel deserved better, and she should have just gone to Paris at the end. So goodbye, friends, and goodbye to Ross as well. <laughs> and then I know the other thing was all the Jason Momoa stuff that was going on online. Yeah, so Jason Momoa uh, went on a vacation with his family and looked like Jason Momoa, and people decided to comment on his weight because he wasn't, didn't have a six-pack, and were saying that he should go to the gym and... Why does he why does he have a dad bod now? Well, actually, he doesn't have a dad bod, and that's also a terrible trend. Like, I don't understand why people are like, dad bods, because you're still body shaming people. Like, Jason Momoa was hot no matter what, so, like, don't even act like you would look at him and go, oh, well, he has a little bit of a not six-pack. Like, he's still hot. L leave it alone. Exactly. And just to re as a reminder to everyone, being thin is not an indicator of health. So, well, actually, if you want to be concerned about people's health, don't make them feel bad about their body so they do unhealthy eating habits because that's how people get stuck in that stuff. But we are also happy about certain things. So what I'm really happy about is the new set of the Magic the Gathering cards, the uh, core set 2020 is out. Hasbro sent these to us and I'm so, so excited. I'm a super nerd about it. Um, I'm a commander player. I've been playing for a couple months now, almost under a year and my two favorite YouTube channels for this are the Tularian Community College and uh, the Command Zone. If you love Magic and you want to know how to play Commander, go to them. And these sets look amazing, and I cannot wait to play them and do all of that nonsense with it. What are you happy about? Everyone is trying to break into Area 51 and free some aliens. And I told Princess earlier that I feel like I have one life goal that like I've always kind of known would happen to me and that's to meet an alien. So I like want to go with everyone and like bust into Area 51. And I'm so excited that everyone's kind of like, we're gonna go see some aliens. And like all the Twitter memes about it are like. So moving on from aliens, in Black Excellence news, I was so excited to see at the London premiere of The Lion King that Beyonce and Jay-Z were there with Meghan Markle. Like that was just like, it gave me so many feels. Sorry, and Sean this, Carter. That's true. They introduced it. They was like they were like Beyonce Knowles Carter and her husband Sean Carter, <laughs> and I was just like, <laughs> yes. Um, so that was amazing. That was great. And also on the cover of Harbor Bazaar is Serena Williams' beautiful, beautiful unfiltered butt. And I just every time I get to see Serena Williams embracing and showing how much she loves her body and how strong it is. It just fills me with a, a huge sense of pride. And I, anytime there's a thing with her on it, I'm gonna buy it because she is the world's most incredible athlete and I am so proud of her and she's the best. She's the bomb. So anything she's in sparks joy to me. And now it's time for a little bit of a royal education. So there's been a lot of really interesting casting news. So Halle Bailey, not Halle Berry, uh, was cast as Ariel in the upcoming The Little Mermaid. And there was a lot of backlash against her because of that. And all I need to say, and there's a reason I wore this shirt today. So this is Candace Patton. Uh, she has been playing Iris West on The Flash for what is gonna be six seasons. And since she's been cast, she has gotten backlash for being a black actress playing a traditionally white character. 
y'all gotta get over this shit. You need to get over it like yesterday, today, tomorrow. Like y'all are so racist that y'all don't want Idris Elba, one of the smartest, sexiest men on earth to play James Bond. And now that we have Lashana Lynch is going to be 007, y'all are mad about that even though she's not playing James Bond. It's like, you need to realize that you're racist. I know you don't want to think it. I know you don't want to acknowledge it in your soul. You're like, but I just want a little mermaid to look like her. You're racist. You're racist because here's the thing about it. Like, Halle Bailey can at least sing. Mm -hmm. Us Beauty and the Beast fans, we had to deal with Hermione Granger in that movie who couldn't sing and doing all kinds of other stuff. She's a talented young actress. She already works for Freeform, so she's in the Disney system. Like, it's an obvious choice. And dismissing her based on just her race is you being racist. She will have the red hair. She's going to sing. Should this movie be being made because it's a remake? You know how I feel about those. But it's also just like a very generic <laughs> property to like reboot. I'm tired of reboots and telling the same story over and over again. And also to the people behind the scenes marketing, please support these actors and actresses. Like it's great that you are doing this diversity and you're getting basically free marketing because that controversy is gonna make people wanna see your movie. Take care of these people. And now, we're gonna pour one out. So Rachel, you're gonna be leading the pour this week? Yes, so as some of you may know, uh, the US women's soccer team won their fourth World Cup uh, championship. You all should know that. Yeah, you should. <laughs> it trended on Twitter for like four days. And so uh, with that, comes the knowledge that with four World Cup uh, titles, they are still severely underpaid from our men's soccer team. You know, the team that like never wins anything. And it's nonsense. And I don't understand why they are not paid the same amount because they got way more traction. And I know more of those players. I couldn't even tell you anyone other than like, I don't even know who plays on our men's team. So who cares? Uh, so this is for the women's soccer team. I love you, Megan, be my friend. Do you even know what the male soccer team is called? No. <laughs> <laughs> so this week I'm gonna pour one out to my girl Malala. Apparently some educators in Canada said that she needs to not wear her hijab when she is teaching. And all I have to say is Malala is the youngest Nobel Peace Prize winner. She can do whatever she wants. Eat a <laughs> Cheers. All right, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in with us. We'll be back next week to talk about all the things that we loved, we hated, and frustrated us. And if you want to hear any of our other thoughts, check us out at themarysue.com. I've been Princess. She's been Rachel. Have a good day.